you can hear me through this noise. I've got my little uh, earbuds in. So I'm going to show you this uh, battery starter cut off connect thing. It's a little solenoid terminal post right there, bottom right. It's connected to your batteries. And it goes up into the uh, side of the driver's seat. There's an on and off switch. You can cut off all power from uh, batteries to anything in the truck. If you're forgetful and stuff, it's a very, very handy little tool, but I just want to tell you, if you have a low starting issue, or like the, like the batteries are dead sometimes, it's because these things, for some reason, vibrate loose, especially after some uh, mechanics not anywhere like a Peterbilt or anything. This is not a Peterbilt, but uh, just in general, mechanics do a lot of overlooking the smallest thing. You know, they'll do a big job, put a battery back on, and barely even touch the uh, the nuts. And these right here will just wiggle loose. These shouldn't wiggle loose much, but the batteries. They just sit in there. They're pretty secure, but they do a lot of bouncing up and down. And uh, it causes some slack in the, the, the torque of the bolts, you know. There's no torque for them, but if you have a low, uh, like a dead battery, when you turn the key and nothing, or you turn the key and it goes click, 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 and just get down here and check every that gum thing of a jiggy and tighten it up go from there. If, uh, it continues, it's probably somewhere up there, you know, that goes to the start of the repair, but you can't get to it, you know? But you have to have a professional look at that one.